All right, gang, this one's called uh, uh, conditional probability, and let's begin. Okay, so part A, what's the probability of pulling an ace from a standard deck of uh, 52 cards? So there's four aces out of 52, so that would be 1 13th, so 0 0.077. Okay, if you have four cards in your hand, and one of those cards is an ace, what's the probability that the next card pulled out of the deck is an ace? Okay, now remember, there's four cards that are in your hand, so there's 48 cards left in the deck. And one of those cards in your hand is an ace, so there's three aces left out of 48 left in the deck, or 1 16th, or, or 0.0625. Okay, conditional probability uses notation with that bar symbol right there, the probability of A bar B, uh, where it gives uh, the probability of one event, that the next card is an ace, for example, under the condition that we are known uh, that we known uh, uh, another event so for example uh, exactly one of the four visible cards is an ace the bar is red given the information that okay so um, uh, this got this data from table 6-1 at the bottom of page 366 on the marital status of women in the United States and this is in thousands so here it is okay all this data right here Alrighty, and uh, let's go ahead and, and do some calculations here. So if a woman is chosen at random, find each probability, okay, that she is a young married woman, okay? So a young married woman, given this statistics right here, okay, here's a young, I'm guessing this is a young one, yep, that would be young married woman. So this number divided by the total over here, this number over here, alright, so, um, uh, so, we get 0 0.075 on that. Okay, let's try another one. That she is widowed, um, and she's at least 65 years old. Okay, so she, so given that she's at least 65 years old. Okay, so here's the widowed right here. Okay, all the widowed, given that she's at least 65 years old. So I'm dealing with this column only right here. So it's going to be the widowed divided by this total right here. So I get um, uh, the, the 0.449, okay? Roughly 50% right there, okay? Uh, let's try another one. So here's definition of conditional probability. Uh, just a formula here, you guys. So the conditional probability of B given A is written like this. Uh, and this is and, remember, the probability of A and B over the probability of A, and it's just a formula that's given to you that you can use on your notes uh, on the test. So for example, um, find the probability of a widowed woman given that she is at least 65. Okay, now we already did it uh, before, but we're going to do it using this formula here. So it equals uh, the probability that she's widowed and at least 65. Okay. And, uh, and then this one's going to be the probability that she's at least uh, 65. Okay, so we're going to get the top one separately. The probability, or actually we'll do the bottom one first separately. The probability that she's at least 65. Okay, if you look back on that chart uh, where she's at least 65, uh, that was that bottom uh, number, the total down at that column right there. And then this is the total of everybody right there. So the probability that they're at least 65 is 18%. Okay, the probability that they're widowed and at least 65, uh, that gets us um, uh, uh, the 83 divided by the total right there. Okay, that they're widowed and at least 65. You see where those numbers are coming off of that chart right there? Okay, and then we're just going to substitute these two decimals in uh, for this guy right here and watch what happens, you guys. Uh, you get 0 .450. Now take a look at uh, section uh, C, number 2, you guys. Uh, it's the same uh, answer that we got, and it's just uh, due to round-off error. I think it was 0.449, which is uh, 0 .450, just due to round-off error. Uh, whichever way you want to do it, I think it's a little bit more cumbersome to do it this formula way. I like the way we did it in section, uh, section C better, but whatever. Um, uh, your book loves to do it this way only, so... Okay, uh, so here's the uh, last piece. Uh, uh, Bob sees 11 cards on the table, and uh, of these, uh, four are diamonds. So what's the probability of pulling from the deck uh, the two cards uh, that are diamonds? The next two cards, sorry, this should say the next two cards. I'm going to put that in right now since I have a little extra time. 
Uh, next. Oops, I put it in the wrong spot. Anyways, you get the idea. Okay, so, uh, okay, and this is what I did, you guys. So, um, uh, there's 11 cards on the table, which means there's 41 cards left in the deck. So, um, there's 9 uh, diamonds left out of 41 cards. And then the next poll is going to be 8 diamonds out of 40 cards, because it's one less. And I went ahead and reduced this 8 over 40 right here. And we get 0 .044.